Assalamu alaikum. This is my revert story. This is also the story of how I, an atheist for over 20 years, converted to Islam. So in 2022, I'd had a bad year. At the start of 2023, I set an intention with the word ease. I wanted to attract ease into my life. Unfortunately, 2023 was full of hardship. My husband was diagnosed with MS and it became progressively worse. Um, there were deaths, multiple ones, uh, two of which were cl people close to me and were unexpected. Um, there was job loss, there were money problems. Uh, my back was against the wall and I felt I was in what Joseph Campbell calls the dark night of the soul. And I was very aware that not everyone survives that dark night. My heart was suddenly open, I think because of all the trauma and grief. It had just exploded open. And I remember describing it as an open wound. And I was worried that like an open wound, something would get in there and infect it. So I wanted to fill it with good things. I started to look towards any spiritual belief system or practice for answers and for fulfillment. I looked into Buddhism, Taoism, Kabbalah, mysticism, paganism, astrology, tarot, etc., etc. And none of them truly clicked. And then October 7th rolled around. And I was witnessing the atrocities in Gaza and I saw it through the lens of my own trauma and my own suffering, but theirs was so much worse. And yet they displayed a form of grief that was different from my own. It was a resilient sort of grief. They would have lost everything and their, their, their homes, their loved ones, and they would immediately thank God. I wanted to know the source of this resilience, so I ordered a Quran and I started reading. And I came across the verse, truly, with hardship, there is ease. My word of the year. I read it in December 2023. I had also been to many protests and other sorts of direct action to uh, object to what was happening in Gaza. And through these actions, I had met a good portion of the Muslim community here and discovered that they are the kindest and most supportive people I had ever met. And I was longing for community. Every book I had read about trauma emphasized that it isn't really therapy or medication or any of the healing modalities that sort of, uh, cure or help you to recover from trauma, it's community. And so now I had that and I had the Quran and I had a sense of meaning and destiny and purpose. And so a few days ago in March, 2024, I converted to Islam. So that's my story.